Today we are discussing the structure chart. Structure chart you will find in uh, software analysis and design. So we'll talk about uh, the structure charts, the use of structure charts, the symbols we employ in structure charts, and how to create. So what are structure charts? The structure chart in software engineering and organizational theory is a chart which shows the breakdown of a system. So if you have a system, it shows the breakdown of the system to its lowest, lowest manageable levels. So they are used in structured programming, structured programming to arrange program modules. These are the modules into a tree. So it will be some tree form. So each module is represented by a box, by a box which contains the module name. So structure chart is a chart which, which is actually derived from data flow diagram. So for system analysis part, as I said, this is a part you will find in system analysis and design. So SA and SD, system analysis and system design. So in system analysis, what we do, we try to make the DFDs, data flow diagrams. So it represents the system in more detail than DFD. So in this system design part, we create the structure chart. So it breaks down the entire system into lowest functional modules and then describes the functions and then the subfunctions of each module of the system means uh, this, this, uh, this is a module, we make some modules, we make some modules to the manageable form and then we describe functions and some functions of each of these modules to a greater detail than the DFDs. So structure chart, they are hierarchical as we said, they represent certain tree structure of modules at each layer a specific task is performed. Structure chart, we describe functions and sub-functions of each part of a system that is again in more detail form than the DFD data flow diagrams and it also shows the relationship between the common and the unique modules of a computer program or a computer uh, software and this is in hierarchical form that is the hierarchy which is in the module structure so we have the number of layers each layer in a program performs certain specific activities and each module performs a specific functions what are the symbols which are employed in structure chart? The structure chart symbols, modules, which represent the sequential logic, the conditions, which represent the decision logic, the loops, which is which represent the iterative logic, data couples and control couples, data and control couples. So this is a structure chart. Let us take the module first. So the rectangle here, which you can see here, this represents a module which is a program or a subroutine. So these are control modules that is the we can have main this is the control module which is the main line and this branches to the sub modules. These are the sub modules and library modules they are reusable and they can be invoked. This is this is a special formation as you can observe the representation is like this. So these are the library modules they are re reusable they can be invoked from more than one control modules elsewhere in the system also. So this is a control module, these are the subordinate modules and this is a library module. And you will also observe the numbering 1, 1.1, 1 1.2 and 1.3. The arrow, the arrow which you uh, see here, this is a data couple which represents a data couple. So the arrow with an empty circle, with an empty circle, this is a data couple and it shows the data one module passes to another that is main customer data may pass say customer number to look up customer name and the lookup customer name may pass the customer name to the calling function that is the main maintain customer data. This is how we represent it. Arrow with an empty circle. Then we see the control couple. Control couple an arrow with filled circle. This is an example of the control couple of this form. This is filled. So it shows a message which, which is maybe a flag which one module sends to another. A message say update customer file will send a control couple that is an account overdue to maintain customer data. So module uses a flag to signal certain specific condition or action to another module. This is your control couple. Then the condition, structure chart condition. As you observe here, this is a diamond. This diamond 
is nothing but the condition. So align with a diamond, align with a diamond. So this indicates a control module which determines which subordinate module will be invoked because this is a decision, a condition. So condition will be made whether to sort inventory parts, we have to sort it by part name, whether it, we need to sort it by a part number, a name or inventory value. This is an example of structure chart with certain condition and unconditioned lines. These are conditional lines. Then the loop. Loop. A curved arrow. A curved arrow representing a loop. This is a curved arrow. Loop. One or more modules, they may be repeated. A curved arrow indicates that in, if these two arrows are there and the curved arrow is on these two arrows, means on this one and this one, this, uh, see, this show that the curve arrow indicates that these two modules are repeated. That means to produce grade reports, get student grades and calculate GPA, get student grades and cal calculate GPA. This, this, these two modules will be repeated or iterated again and again. This is the structure chart for say calculate pay amount routine, just an example I am saying. If you want to calculate a pay amount, you have to pass the hours in job category. In return, the calculate base amount will return the base pay. In for for uh, calculating the overtime, it needs hours, it will return the uh, overtime amount. For calculating taxes, it will take the dependents and will return the taxes. And for calculating other deductions, it will take the deduction information and will return the deduction amount. This is the structure chart for entire calculated payroll program. This is an example. This, you can just take it as an example. So this is how we represent a structure chart from pay produce payroll program you see this is an iteration this these are the sub modules and these are the again the sub modules of this module and these four are the sub modules of calculate pay amounts these are all the data flow okay so this is how we can represent a structure chart what are the steps in drawing a structure chart first you need to review the data data flow diagram and the object models then the modules of course you need to identify and the relationship between these modules then you need to add the couples and loops and condition as I just indicated and then you analyze the structure chart, the DFDs and the data dictionary. For example, you can have certain example of say ordered system DFD or a system structure chart. So structure charts, it shows the relationship among the program modules. Structure chart consists of a module, data couples, control module, conditions and loop. The modules, they are related program code organized into small units that are easy to understand and maintain, manageable form. Data couple, they are the data which is passed between the module, the control couples, they are data passed between the modules and that indicate a condition or action to the another module like this. And conditions, this determines what subordinate modules a control module will run by a diamond and loops indicate one or more subordinate modules, they are going to be repeated. The so structure charts are based on DFD and the data dictionary. So this was a very brief idea for structure chart. Thank you so much. Take care.